Welcome back guys, in this video we're going to look at the ceilings of our project. Enjoy the video. So now I'm going to go back to my floor plan and the next thing I'm going to do is actually put these ceilings in. So under the architecture tab, I'm going to go to the build panel and then I'm going to select ceiling. And then I'm going to leave it at ceiling one and then the height offset from level, I'm going to change that to 2800. And then I'm going to select the sketch ceiling and then I'm going to draw my ceilings in place. Now typically you will draw each individual room as a separate ceiling but for this project I'm just going to draw them as one ceiling. One thing to note is there is a decorative ceiling cove in the main living room so I'm also going to do a cutout for that one by using the rectangle tool. Now once that's done I'm going to switch to the ceiling plan. So I'm going to open that up and then double click on the ceiling plan. I'm also going to revise this to fine detail as well. And then I'm going to draw in the other ceiling in our living room. So let's go back to the ceiling function and let's just do a sketch ceiling and then a simple rectangle over the same distance. And then what I'm going to do is change that offset to three meters. And then I'm going to finish the edit. The next thing I want to do is add a coved detail. So, so for that, I'm going to use the wall street function. So let's go back to the 3D view. And then I'm just going to draw a quick wall just off to the side here. And what I need to do for the wall sweep is select the wall drop down and then select the wall sweep button. Now with the wall sweep button, you can go horizontal or vertical. For our case, we're going to use the horizontal. And then you can select the wall and then that runs a sweep along that wall. So for the sweep, what I need to do is modify the profile. So at the minute, this is just a square. So I'm going to create a profile family, load that into the project, and then I can change this to use that profile sweep. So let's start a new family. I'll go to file, new family, and then I'm going to go to the English library, scroll down to metric profile hosted, open that up. And then this is where I draw my profile. So you can see here that you do have the host on the left hand side as indicated and you have the insertion point here. So what I'm going to do is draw my profile in this little quadrant here. So let's use the simple lines and let's draw a profile which goes out by 250 millimeters and then also goes down by 250 millimeters. And then let's continue drawing this profile. Okay, so now we have our profile. One thing to note is that all of the text can be ignored as this won't be shown in the project. So we have our profile. It is one continuous boundary and we can load that into the project and close. We don't need to save it for this purpose. So now that's loaded in, let's change the profile for this wall suite. So let's select it. Let's go to edit type. And then under the profile, it's currently default. Let's use the drop down and let's select family one and then select OK. So that's put the profile in the correct 
pattern and it's on the correct side of the wall and then also you can see the location line here where this node is so this drag wall end point is where the profile would be so let's now add this to our project the first thing i'm going to do is temporarily hide the roof so i'm just going to select that and then select hc which temporarily hides it and then i'm going to select the ceiling i'm going to right click and then i'm going to go to override graphics in view by element and then i'm just going to change the transparency to 100 percent and then hit apply so that allows us to add this profile in where the ceilings are so i'm just going to select the dummy wall suite that we had and then i'm going to select the crate similar and then i'm going to place that in place in the appropriate location on the rear wall and then i'm going to select the adjacent walls to make sure that that lines up Now once you've done one room, you would hit the escape button and then that will be the sweep in place. So you can select that sweep and then pull back the node so that they tidy up correctly for each wall until you have one single shape. So the next thing you can do is change the offset from the level to 2800, which is the level of our ceilings. And that will be one of the coved ceilings done. So if I go to this wall, Select HH, you can see where the ceiling cove is and that wraps around the entire room. So I'm just going to go around now and do that for every single location. So those coves are done. The last thing I'm going to do is the decorative cove in the main living space. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this basic ceiling to the standard compound ceiling. And then I'm going to edit type and change that to a 50 millimeter thickness. And then select OK. I'm also going to do the same for our decorative feature. Unfortunately, we do have the profile for this ceiling cove, so I'm just going to right click and then go to edit. And then I'm going to create a new family. So I'm going to go to file, new, family, English, metric generate model and open that up. And then I'm going to create my family.
Now once that's loaded in, I can then place that in place and then use the align tool to finalize the position. And then back in my 3D view, I can also use the section box, scroll down in the properties panel, turn on the section box, and then I can crop the view straight through that detail. And then I can arrange where the ceiling is above that. So I can use the align tool, select the top of the feature and then the top of the ceiling. So that lines up correctly and that's our ceilings in place. So let's just go back to this other ceiling, override graphics in view by element and then let's reset that and then hit OK. So now we have some ceilings in place, we have the ceiling coals in place. There's one more thing to do. So let's go back to our ceiling plan. And then now we're going to add the very last thing, which is the lighting. So let's go to architecture, component, load family. And then in our library, let's go to lighting, architectural, internal, and then we can load in some family. So the first thing I want to load is a fan. And then the second thing would be a round ceiling light and a spotlight. So let's load all three of those in. Now the round lights, I'm going to position a few of those in place. And then I'm going to use the dimensions to align them. So once that's done, we now have our uh, ceilings done. We have the ceiling coals done and we have a roof in place. And that's the end of the video. And that's the end of my 31 for 31 videos throughout the month of December. Be sure to check out the playlists in the video description below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more regularly released Revit content. Happy New Year. 
and I'll see you in the next one.